you can see that the iron is starting to get warm now and I'm going to file it and make it a little smoother and then we'll be almost ready to build a pipe. size for the tip of your iron? Different, different pipe makers like it different ways. Uh, I like mine very flat across one area of it and then we black, I blacken it with a piece of key plastic so that the solder doesn't roll up onto the other edge of the solder. Other people prefer a more rounded uh, tip and that way they don't have to keep working on this uh, edge all the time to keep it sharp. Alright, I think we're about ready to... Um, I'd like to build, to put together a mixture pipe for you here. This is uh, the foot and the body. You can see the body is already rolled and it's been painted with the size already and it's good and dry. So I'm going to back seam the body after I roll the foot and get the foot painted so it can be drying. So I'll use this steel mandrel to roll the, the foot. it's nice and straight and then I'll paint it with the size I'd like to give you a little demo of what happens when you don't use the size. Here's an iron that's pretty hot now and you can see it's melting solder very easily and putting up some smoke. And here's a piece of metal like we would use for the languids on this pipe. And the top side of it has the painting on it and the bottom side does not. So you can see there's molten solder on this iron and I'm going to put this right here against this and kind of rub it around and kind of try to get it to, stick, to melt through and you can see that it's not really melting that at all. It's doing all right. But now if I turn this over like this and there's the bare metal like this and I turn it around like that, look at that, it's gone just like that. So that's why we paint these with the, the size. So while that foot that I just rolled is drying, I'm going to go ahead and put a bevel on this and solder the body.
Now we'll use the candle for some flux. And now we're ready to back seam our, our body for a mixture. So there's our back seam filled and now we're going to hit it with a little bit of candle wax again and try to make it look nice and pretty and make sure that it really sticks well. There's our body, soldered, ready to be rounded up nice and round. So that will take a little noise. Since that's ready, it's now time to prepare our foot the same way we prepared the body. flux on it. So now we're ready for the same process as we did to the body for soldering. We have to make sure that we get the toe end soldered very well because when we put it in the coning machine to cone the toe down it'll break if it's not soldered very thoroughly.
lots of heat on the two end. Now we're ready to square this off and round it up. There's our back seamed and rounded up and squared off foot ready to be coned. This is the coning machine. It's going to make the toe of this pipe much smaller. It, we don't open tune around here. We like to have coned toes. We use an impact coning machine as opposed to a spin coning machine. And this machine is basically a cam that hits the bottom of this series of cups with an impact and cones this toe down. So we're going from an open toe like this. Now that we have our foot and our bodies rolled, back seamed, and rounded up, and the foot is, to is coned, now we need to install a flattening for a lip across this area and this area. Most of our mixtures have a quarter flattening. There's the quarter flattening installed on the foot. There's the quarter flattening installed on the body. One quarter is one fourth of the circumference of the pipe. Um, 
generally the louder they want to pipe, the broader the flattening is. Before I paint the foot, I'm going to mark off what I need for a languid that solders between the foot and the body and diverts the air over the lip. getting a bevel on this foot ready to install the languid and a little candle and here's my languid so we're all ready to install it we solder it on there Trim it to size. Now a little bit of a bevel, so we can solder the foot to the body. There's our completed foot, ready to solder onto a body which just needs a bevel and then it'll be ready. Foot. 
I want to make sure I get this pretty straight so the guys in the assembly room that are racking it don't have to fuss with it too much. So I'm going to adjust it just a little bit now so that it's straighter. That's better. There's our foot joined to our body, the completed pipe. 